Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you can play a song called Type of Way by a rich homie Quan. And we're going to start out kind of with, with the riffs, and we're going to end up capoing this on the second fret to kind of match the recording. But it starts out with just kind of a really, really cool little 3 plus 3 plus 2 idea, where you can play open B string twice, and then we go to fourth fret on the D string. So we're kind of going B, B, F sharp, B, B. F sharp, and if you wanted to, you could even shift that by octave by going to the high on the seventh fret, seven, and then going to second fret for the F sharp. So seven, seven, two, seven, seven, two. And that would be a little weird with the cable later. We'll have to add two frets and actually be working ninth fret to, to fourth fret. Don't worry about that. Um, but then the, the chords that would kind of back up that, like actually would start on an E minor chord. When we play E minor. First finger is going to go to the A string on the second fret, the second finger on the D string on the second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds like an E minor chord that sounds really, really sad. And then from the E minor, actually, we've got, that's kind of our 3 and 3 idea. And then the 2 idea is a D idea. And when we play D major, first finger is going to go to the G string on the second fret. Second finger on the high E string on the second fret, and third finger on the B string on the third fret. And if you kind of strum just the G, G, B, and E, that sounds a D major chord that sounds really, really happy. So it's kind of E minor 2, 3, E minor 2, 3, D1, 2, E minor 1, 2, 3, E minor 1, 2, 3, D1, 2, E minor 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, D1, 2, E minor 1, 2, 3, D1, 2, E minor 1, 2, 3, D1, 2, E minor 1, 2, 3, D1, 2. But a lot of times for myself, I like adding strum patterns to kind of chords to kind of back them up. Now, since we're talking about the lick, though, one way to kind of reinforce that, actually, and I'm going to kind of do this hybrid picking using my pick for my basses and my fingers for, for the other notes, but you could kind of do that open B string with the open E string at the same time. And then when you go to that fourth fret on the D string, you can add a fifth fret on the A string to kind of get the F sharp and a D note going on at the same time. So you have that kind of E and B, E and B, D and F sharp, E and B, E and B, D and F sharp. Or you could kind of work it off that octave shift kind of that we were doing and kind of add in the basses for that using the open E string for your bass and then open D for, for, for kind of your F sharp note. So that would be another way to do it. But a, a, a lot of times I like adding a strum pattern so I can kind of sing with stuff. So one strum pattern that would work actually is to kind of take the E minor and do a down, down, up, down. And then we would do that same thing again. Down, down, up, down. So that's your three idea. And then on the D you could kind of do just a down, down, up. We tried it that way, we'd have E minor with a down, down, up, down, E minor, down, down, up, down, D, down, down, E minor, down, down, up, down, E minor, down, down, up, down, D, down, down, E minor, down, down, up, down, E minor, down, down, up, down, D, down, down, up. Now something else that could be cool with that is to add in bass notes. And a lot of times on the first down that you're doing, you can add in a bass note for the chord. So you could turn the down, down, up, down, we're doing on the E minor into kind of a bass down, up, down. And on the D chord, we can do kind of a D string for our bass and kind of do our down up after it. So the D would be a bass down up. So we put those together, we'd have E minor the bass, down up, down E minor the bass, down up, down to the D bass, down E minor the B bass, down up, down E minor the B bass, down up, down to the D bass, down up. So that's another way you can kind of play through it. And what I think, especially when the drums kick in, actually, you start to kind of hear that 3 plus 3 plus 2 as really kind of a 16th note strum kind of kind of feel with the drums. And what I mean by that is right now our, our down, down, up, down, up still we're using our down, down, up that we're using for the D kind of divide our, our foot tap or our beat into two parts. One, two, one, two. That's called an eighth note. What a sixteenth note is is where you divide that foot tap into four parts. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And one of my favorite sixteenth note strum patterns is long down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down. And what I mean by that is if you take the E minor and do it down for four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That's what you're doing on the first beat. Then on the second beat, you're doing down on one, down on three, up on four. So you're going one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then on the third beat, you're doing an up on two, down on three. So you're going one, two, three, four, one, up, down, one, up, down, one, up, down. And then on the last beat, you're going down, up, down, up, right along with the one, two, three, four. So you got down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Up, down. Actually, what you could do is kind of the down and 
the down, down, up, up, down on the E minor, and then go to the D chord for the down, up, down. And that would actually kind of work through the tune too. So you have E minor, down, 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 up, up, down, D, down, up, down, E minor, down. on the E minor before you start. So that can be cool E minor bass. Down, down, up, up, down, D, down, up, down, E minor with bass. Down, down, up, up, down, D, down, up, down, E minor with bass. Down, down, up, up, down, D, down, up, down. So there's a lot of different ways you can kind of accompany yourself with it. And randomly there's this cool little keyboard like that comes in later, or at least I think I didn't imagine this, where you go third fret on the high E string, second on the high E string, third on the high E, second on the high E, open E, open B, and then we go back to three on the high E string, second fret on the high E string, third on the, on the high E, second on the high E, and then open E, and then open B, but then we go to third fret on the B string. And what you could do is kind of add in the basses with that, so you'd have open E, three, two, three, two, oh, oh, and then play the open E with the three, three, two, three, two, oh, oh, and then hit the open D with the three on the B string, so... too from kind of playing around with that and you can even try those finger style too now the weird part about playing with rich homie kwan though is instead of starting on an e minor chord he's actually starting on an f sharp minor chord so to play along with the recording what you want to do is take a capo and if you put the capo on second fret your e minor is really an f sharp minor chord and your d major is really an e major chord but you can still kind of work all of those those intro licks that kind of that open open four open open four open open or, or you could add the basses to that. It could be kind of a cool thing to do too. Or you could even work off the high E string with the open strings. And this is a little weird because now seventh fret that we were thinking before is really ninth fret, second fret. So I'm kind of referencing things to the capo. So you're thinking open and seven, but you're really playing nine. So that, that, that's a little weird to kind of work that that way. But you may want to kind of play around with that like too. Um, or we could just do our, our strumming and we have E minor with kind of the down, 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 of how you get strung through type of wave by Rich Homie Kwan. So good luck!